Welcome back to Corolla Customs, where today I'm gonna be showing you how to bleed your brakes with DOT3 fluid. All right guys, so one of the reasons why changing your brake fluid is so important is because it's hydroscopic, meaning it absorbs water. Over time, the brake fluid absorbs the water, which could get into the lines and cause it to rust from the inside out, which is not good. So ever so often, you need to uh, bleed your brakes and replace the fluid. Brake fluid lasts about three years. Um, I usually change it. I usually bleed it out a little bit at every brake job and just replace it with some new fluid just in case. Um, so let's just get started. All right, so basically what needs to be done, you need to have two people for this job. Sometimes you could do it alone. It's called gravity bleeding. We're not doing that today. Um, this is gonna require two people. So first, I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna pump the brakes. I'm gonna pump him three times. I'm gonna hold. My brother, Bisuki, is gonna get on the floor and he's gonna crack the bleeder loose and you're gonna watch it bleed. Uh, items that you're gonna need is, I think this is an eight millimeter socket or a, ra a wrench, which is preferably used. Um, get a clear line and get a catch pan so you can catch fluid. So first, let me just get in the car and pump the brakes. What am I gonna crack? So you're gonna pump it three times and then hold, and he's gonna crack the bleeder loose. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look, locate the bleeder on the caliper, which is right over here. You're gonna put the clear holes here, drain it to the catch pan. So I'm gonna pump the brakes three times and hold it. He's gonna take the wrench, which is an eight millimeter like so, and crack it loose. When he cracks it loose, the fluid is gonna start to drain out, which you see it moving a little bit. Um, it'll drain out a lot faster because my foot will still be on the brake pedal holding it. When my foot's holding the brake pedal, it's gonna go all the way to the floor. And then he's gonna tighten back the bleeder, and then I'm gonna release my foot from the pedal and pump again three times. Let me show you where my feet is on the brake pedal. So I'm gonna pump three times. One, two, three, hold. Go ahead. And my foot goes to the floor. Tell me when you lock it. One, two, three, go. All right. So another thing you want to make sure is locate your master cylinder, which is located right here in the vehicle. You want to make sure that this never runs dry. If this runs dry, you, you can cause a problem in the master cylinder and you may have to replace it. So always check it and fill it up with fluid as you do this, all right? Once the fluid starts coming out of the caliper clean and clear, then you know that you're good and to move on to the other side. Also, if you don't see any more bubbles coming out the line, which is why we have the clear plastic line to see the uh, bubbles coming out of. All right.